Hey, Treasure Pan, your pal Big D back here again with another weekly news announcement. And this is for March 5th, 2019. Yes, we've made it into March. Two months of the year are already gone. Where they went? I don't know. So, uh, um, what I like to do with these videos, if you haven't watched my videos before, I'd like to tell you what's coming out this week on DVD and Blu ray, what's coming out next week, and any special announcements. And then at the end, I'd like to show you kind of what I picked up last week. So, let's get started. All right, so this week's kind of a decent week. There's a couple big titles coming out, a few smaller titles coming out. Um, next week's the week I'm really looking forward to. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming out next week, and there's a few announcements that are really cool this week. Um, so for tomorrow the 5th, um, the movies we got coming out are um, The Favorite, which was an Academy Award-nominated movie, comes out tomorrow, and that's going to be on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. No, just DVD and Blu-ray. No, I didn't see a 4K. Um, also, Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 comes out. And I talked about this last week a little bit. I actually really like this season. The new character, John Dory, that they um, they put in the, the, the show, I'm really a big fan of. So uh, that does come out uh, tomorrow on DVD and Blu-ray. Also tomorrow, Krypton Season 1, which is another really good uh, TV show. If you haven't seen that one yet, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of like DC. It's really cool to watch a show about not Superman and and not so much his father but his grandfather it's it's really cool to see that interaction to see krypton before it you know it's it's a really good show trust me it's really, got a lot of political intrigue but it's very well done they've incorporated a lot of characters from the superman mythos in it so it's actually really really cool um then also tomorrow is the mark Wahlberg movie shot during christmas instant family shout factory scream factory tomorrow's releasing the craft and California, that's spelled with a K because that's the Brad Pitt one. Um, also tomorrow, The Vanishing with Gerard Butler, which I didn't see in theater, so I'm assuming it's a directed a direct to DVD. And then a movie called Vox Lux, which I have the, the cover looked really cool, but I have no idea what that's about. And then we also have House of Cards season six. And the big title tomorrow, and probably the title I'm looking most forward to tomorrow is Creed Two comes out tomorrow, which is awesome. And Creed Two comes out on DVD. Blu-ray, 4K, Steelbook. I believe somebody else has got another exclusive. I don't know, but I know there's a Blu-ray. There's a 4K Steelbook coming out tomorrow, along with a 4K a DVD and a Blu-ray. Um, one of my viewers asked me about um, mentioning Redbox, as they rent a lot of movies off Redbox, and I can say it tomorrow. The majority of the big titles, so Creed, The Favorite, um, Instant Family, those will all be up there tomorrow. TV sets are never up there, and the other ones, they won't be either. As a matter of fact, the only ones you'll be able to probably find in stores tomorrow for sure will be The Favorite, Creed, Fear the Walking Dead, Krypton, Instant Family. You may find out there, if you have a um, FYE you're in, you may find one of the Screen Factory titles. And I, and the Vanishing, actually, Vanishing of Vox Lux, I did see in the Best Buy, so those will be out there too. House of Cards, I'm sure it'll be out there, so be on the lookout for those. Most likely, though, the Screen Factory ones you'll probably have to order off their site or off of Amazon. Um, but that is it for this week. It's a pretty decent week. Like I said, I know for a fact Creed 2 steel, but mine, I will get that because I loved Creed. And I actually really like Creed 2 as well. Um, so next week, the 12th, um, a little bit bigger week, quite a bit more coming out. Um, a couple big titles coming out um, and quite a few other littler titles too. So um, I'm going to talk about the smaller stuff first. And I'll get to the big stuff. So Screen Factory next week is releasing Man's Best Friend. I think they had Lance Henriksen in it. I remember seeing that like in the 80s, the mid-80s movie. And I remember it was it was dog, ran him up, you know, type of thing. But I remember being really good. Also, Screen Factory is releasing, um, let's see, Someone to uh, Watch Over Me. Never seen that one, but I think I remember hearing about it back in the day. Um, let's see here. The Last Ship, Season 5, comes out next week, along with The Last Ship, the complete series. Now, I'm actually a big fan of that show, um, although I haven't seen the last four episodes of the series. I um, The channel we were watching on, I don't have it anymore, so... Uh, we couldn't get that, so I'm sure going to pick... Actually, I only have the season one. I'll probably get the box set eventually of that. Because um, it's actually a really good show. I really did enjoy it. Um, also, MVD is releasing Showdown tomorrow. Um, let's see here. So, remember a couple months, a couple weeks ago, I told you that Mill Creek was releasing more and more of those VHS covered Blu-rays? For some weird reason, they postponed them all except for one. So, the rest of those are coming out next week. So, Sheena, Neighbors, Legend of Billie Jean, Songwriter. Those will all be coming out next week now. They've for whatever reason, they shift them a month. I don't know why. Nobody tells me anything. Um, let's see here. Also, um, so the bigger titles coming out next week is Mortal Engines is coming out, and that's got a Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K to it. I don't think there's any special for those. I actually really wanted to see that. I think it looked really cool. I know it tanked in theaters. I know it tanked really bad in theaters. But it's still, I, I, it, I like the look of it, so I'm definitely going to check it out. 
Um, the Academy uh, Award winner Best Picture of the Year comes out next, which is Green Book, and that'll be on a Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K. And then the biggest title, and this is the one I'm most excited about, is uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and I probably said that wrong, comes out next week, and that's going to be on DVD, Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, 4K, and there is a 4K Steelbook coming out for that. And I know that's going to be a best... No, wait a minute. Is that Best Buy? One of the ones coming out... I, that, I believe that is Best Buy. But there's a Steelbook coming out soon. I can't remember what it is now. I'll have to look it up. It's actually coming out. It's a flip. Like, Target's getting the Steelbook, and Best Buy's getting some sort of, like, Digibook. They're flipping it. I know it's a title coming out later this month. I can't actually remember what it is. And when I do figure it out, I'll let you know. But I, I had seen it today, and I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Why is it coming out? Ah! I will mention, I know exactly what it is now. I do remember what it is, and I will mention it in a few minutes. I just remember what, which one it was. It's a weird thing that they're flipping. So, but obviously, I mean, Fantastic Beasts, wow. 3D, you just don't see a lot of 3D coming out anymore. So that's really cool if they're doing that. Green Book was the Academy Award Best Picture for this year. So I'm sure that's going to be pretty good. And I hear it's a pretty good movie. Although there's a bunch of controversy floating around of it. So I don't know. I'm sure I'll see it. Um, but yeah, that is what's coming out next week. So it's a it's, next couple weeks, pretty big weeks. Now, with that being said, let's talk about what they announced this week. And there is a few things they did announce. Um, some things are quite a bit like bigger notoriety than other ones. But um, so first off, they announced Replicas. And that was the movie with uh, Keanu Reeves. And that one was the one where I think his family dies and he he uses their DNA and brings them back. But it's against the law or some I can't remember what it was. I remember seeing it pre-fort in theaters. And I think it lasted my theaters like a day around here. But that comes out on April 16th. I actually want to see it. I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan. So I'd love to see it. Uh, Sony Pictures is releasing The Squeeze, White Knights, and Multiplicity. Multiplicity was that one with uh, Michael Keaton. There was a bunch of them. Um, and um, they're releasing all those um, in April. I didn't have a specific date, but they're releasing those. And I always remember the movie The Squeeze, because I think they want to have Michael Keaton in too. But what I remember about it was it was the two towers that were squeezing him in the middle. And they actually replicated that uh, cover again. I thought it was really weird because there's no towers anymore. So it was always, it's one of those weird movies like you see nowadays where they can't change the cover to, to, um, they change the cover to, to take away from that because I, I don't know for whatever reason. I know there's been a few movies where they've eliminated the tower or redone something to change the poster or stuff like that, but, um, it, 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 it it's actually a pretty neat looking cover. And I remember very distinctly being a kid and going through the, going through the, um, uh, video store and thinking it was like a disaster because it looked like the t the towers were crumbling and I remember going hey, does that mean they didn't even be a comment it's like no so that does come those do come out uh, shout factory wow my light just went out did you notice that or what so please 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 I am sorry it's a little dark um let's see here so uh shout factory is releasing a couple new titles legend of the seven golden vampires coming out April 9th and we also have Frankenstein created woman which comes out on June when is it, 11th? Wow, that's quite a ways away. Wow, this is really dark. Again, I'm so sorry how dark this is. Um, also, we have a movie called Beautiful Day coming out the 20th of April. Yeah, 420. Um, Outlander Season 4. My wife's going to be completely stoked about this. Comes out on the 28th of May. Um, Alien 4K is coming out. I've seen the official announcement for it. I know I've been talked about it for a couple weeks, but it's officially coming out. And it's coming out in a really cool steelbook by Best Buy. Um, obviously it'd be a 4k standard alone disc too, but that's coming out in the 23rd of April or it can't be right. Maybe it is. Sometimes Best Buy likes to release those movies on like Sundays. So that maybe that's what that one is. And the last one, and I mentioned this earlier, the one that's actually in a steel book at Target and instead of Best Buy and getting a, like a digibook or something like that out of Best Buy is Glass. So the M. Night Shyamalan movie Glass will be coming out at Target in a 4k. So that is it for the announcements for this week. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed those. I do want to show you a pickup. And again, I am so sorry about the light. What a... I just charged this darn thing too, so it goes to figure. Um, so let me show you what I picked up last week. I did pick up a couple things. So I did pick up the Little Mermaid Steel Book like I said I was going to do. So I got that. I picked up... This was... I am stoked on this. I did manage to get this. The Captain America. The, uh, the, um, the first Avenger. Why oh, you can't even see that. I am so sorry. The first Avenger Steelbook. Oh, man, this is awesome. I love this thing. I did pick up also um, the 4K version of Mary Queen of Scots. It just looks like a cool flick, and I like these kind of movies. And the really, really cool thing I did pick up this week, and this was uh, this was completely out of the blue. I read a, a couple of uh, reviews on this, and people said, you got to go down there and do it now. Target was having this sale on uh, Stranger Things Season 1 and Season 2, and they were both uh, the 4K versions, two of each one of these were 10 bucks a piece. 
Well, Target also has that like shop thing that you can do. Their little their little thing on the little app, and that app was saying fifty percent off a movie purchase. So I got Stranger Things season two uh, Blu-ray DVD combo set because I already have the four K of this. I got this for five bucks, literally five bucks out the door because I have a discount card too that I use. It's uh, I got the the red card, um, and so I got this for five dollars. The entire second season of Stranger Things. It's great. It's an awesome deal. I couldn't. I could not pass up, even though. And I do have the the Blu-ray version and the 4K version on uh, for season one. I want to make sure I had both for season two. And for five dollars, kind of hard to pass up. So that is it. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Leave me some comments down below. Did you like? Um, are you getting any of the movies coming out in the next couple weeks? Did you pick up anything from last week? What'd you get? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Everybody, thank you all for watching. Thanks for putting up with the no light scenario here. Um, you guys rock. Everybody take care. There's another big storm, especially if you people live on the West Coast like I do. There's another big storm rolling tomorrow, so be on the lookout there. Be really careful. Thank you all for watching. Please be on the lookout. I know I told, I know I said I was going to post uh, two videos uh, last week on uh, my reviews of Alita, Battle Angel, and uh, blah, 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 a Happy Death Day to you. <laughs> I had to redo them. I accidentally deleted them. I deleted a bunch of stuff on my phone. So I've redone them. So I just got to edit them again. I will get them out this week. Along with, I will be putting out videos most likely tomorrow, my Dollar Tree pickups. And also, I went to a toy show over the weekend and I got more movies I did toys. And so be on the lookout for those videos as well. Again, thank you all for watching. Everybody take care. Always remember to keep hunting because believe me, you really don't know what you're going to find, especially when you go to a toy show. And as always, live long and prosper.